The chaotic shipping crisis has no end in sight. The United States has been experiencing poor conditions that have never been so turbulent, and the backlog of containers only grows larger and more difficult to resolve with each passing day. According to one industry insider, it's all downhill from here, and American consumers should say goodbye to fast free shipping. Companies will now begin charging exorbitant premium shipping rates for on-time deliveries, but nothing is guaranteed. All of the experts defending 24-hour port operations are contributing to an even larger backlog because there are simply not enough truck drivers in the market to move those containers from ports to warehouses. That's what Brian Johnson, a 20-year veteran of the trucking industry, revealed in a recent Medium article. The best way to understand how serious a crisis is is to learn what is really going on from the source. So we know what the media, so-called experts, and the government are telling us, which is why Brian Johnson's Expose is so timely and important at a time when our supply chains are collapsing and our leaders don't seem to care. Consider going to the port like going to Walmart on Black Friday, but with only one cashier serving thousands of customers. Consider the following. At a port, there are at least three ways to get a container in or out. The first way is the in gate, through which hundreds of trucks must pass on a daily basis. The second line is for waiting to pick up your container, and the third line is for waiting to exit. The wait time is at least an hour. I've waited in line for up to eight hours just to get into the port. It's a rare day when a driver gets in and out in under two hours. By rare, I mean only a few times a year. He explains that ports do not have enough workers to keep operations running smoothly. Furthermore, they must pay at least 90% of their truck operating expenses, with companies typically covering less than 10% of the remaining expenses. While carriers charged higher shipping rates, none of those rate increases were passed on to drivers, and many drivers simply quit. Despite the fact that the pickup rate for containers had significantly decreased, they were still being offloaded from the boats, and the situation has only gotten worse. According to BNSF, containers are currently sitting in ports for one-third longer than usual because ports simply ran out of space to put new containers until some of the ones already on the ground were picked up. All key ports for global trade are at capacity across the country. Trains are still sitting loaded and waiting to unload at a port. Given the limited number of rail cars, they must be unloaded as quickly as possible. A significant part of the problem is that there is a severe shortage of equipment which is jeopardizing the flow of containers. Because trucking company lots are already overcrowded, containers are being removed from ports and simply dropped anywhere drivers are confined. Ports are desperate to get containers out, but when new containers arrive by boat, there is no plan to deliver this freight because they are literally just making room for the next ship at the port. Unless the lack of shipping infrastructure is addressed, things will back up in a chain reaction to the point where if your products are going general freight, you may have to wait a month or two for delivery. The laws of supply and demand essentially mean that they will collect record high profits for poor service without having to change anything in the system. They do not have to improve or add infrastructure, nor do they have to pay their warehouse workers, crane operators, or truck drivers. According to Brian Johnson, Truck drivers are legally permitted to work 14 hours per day, which is already excessively long. The majority of them are already doing so. There are a limited number of trucks and qualified drivers on the market, and the government's solution is to make them work 24 hours a day, seven days a week until the backlog is cleared. It's simply not realistic or physically possible if you can't get a container unloaded at a warehouse. Having drivers work 24 hours a day, seven days a week solves nothing. My prediction is that nothing will change and the shipping crisis will worsen because no one in the supply chain wants to pay to solve the problem at this point. The backlogs are so severe that container companies, ports, warehouses, and trucking companies are charging exorbitant rate increases for doing nothing to alleviate the situation. For more such informative videos, subscribe to our channel and like the video. See you in the next video.